Welcome to the sixth and final module of our inquiry training. As you will remember, our first module focused on justifying why inquiry-based learning supports the achievement of student outcomes and learner profile attributes. And the second module focused on the three types of inquiry. The third module focused on understanding the inquiry cycle and how we can improve as inquiry-based students. The fourth module focused on putting the inquiry cycle into practice by exploring the tuning in and finding out stages. The fifth module focused on two more stages of the inquiry cycle, the sorting out and the reflecting stages. Today's module will continue to focus on putting the inquiry cycle into practice by exploring the remaining two stages, going further and taking action. After today's module, we should all have a better understanding of how the inquiry cycle can support our district definition of inquiry, a student-centered process of investigation and exploration that engages students in a search for meaning resulting in student action. Today, we will focus on two more stages of the inquiry cycle that are important in constructing deeper understandings and determining next steps for learning. First, we will explore the going further stage to better understand it. Then, we will explore the taking action stage to gain more information about that. The questions that will guide our work today are focused on identifying the characteristics of each stage and trying out some practices that support them. The going further stage is an important part of the inquiry cycle. In this stage, we are going beyond the initial scope of the inquiry as we begin to explore our new questions that have surfaced as the unit evolved. As a teacher, I want to use this stage to introduce new perspectives that haven't been considered yet, or address any misconceptions that were shared during the sorting out stage. Additionally, I might use this stage to let students form expert groups, or to conduct individual inquiries into areas of interest or unanswered questions from the earlier stages. This stage may take several days to explore, or it may only take one day to consider a different perspective as a class. For this task, we are going to be exploring some work samples that have been completed by students or recorded by the teacher during a class discussion. You will notice that the work samples include many of the strategies that we explored in our previous module such as connect, extend, challenge, and generate, sort, connect, elaborate. You have already picked up a work sample for you to analyze with your group. Read through these samples and take on the perspective of both a student and a teacher. Use the guiding questions that have been included on the sample, and they're also listed here on the slide. As a result of this task, you should know what will be your focus as a student, and what will be your focus as a teacher in the going further stage. We'll give you about six minutes to work through the example and then we'll take some time to share what you've learned. The taking action stage is somewhat similar to the going further stage. In this stage, we are continuing to go even further beyond the initial scope of the inquiry as we seek out what we will now do as a result of our learning from the inquiry. Oftentimes, the taking action stage will involve going public with our learning as we share what has been learned with others. Other times, this stage may see us applying our new knowledge and skills within real-world situations or action projects, such as constructing something or participating in a service project to impact ourselves, the community, or the world. 
Still yet, the taking action stage may lead us back into the inquiry cycle with new questions that may or may not be related to the original inquiry focus. For this activity, we are going to revisit our work from the going further stage. One of the questions we explored was, what additional real-world applications or issues could be explored? We are going to use a strategy called, what, so what, now what? This is an easy strategy to implement in order to get students thinking about actions that are needed in response to an issue and for transferring ownership of the learning process at any point in the inquiry. For this activity, walk through each of these questions with your group. If you are exploring an issue related to the inquiry, then pretend you are a student and think through the questions with that perspective. If you are exploring a real-life application, then take on the role of the teacher and think through the questions from that perspective. We'll take, oh, about five minutes to uh, talk with your group about this, and then again, we'll take some sharing time. on your own, or in groups, think about your classroom. How can you use what you have learned today in your own units and classroom? Use the bullets on the screen here to begin rethinking how the learners will move through the going further and the taking action stages of the inquiry cycle for at least one of your units. Let's think about that for about five minutes. Now, let's revisit the inquiry self-assessment tool that we explored in the third module. It's part of your packet. Spend a few minutes reflecting on which descriptors represented your teaching practice when you first examined yourself in the third module. Then, consider which new descriptors represent your practice now. Think about how much you have grown as a result of these modules and what your next steps are for continuing to evolve as an inquiry teacher. The goal of the district's curriculum team is to continue to develop inquiry modules that continue to advance our district-wide implementation of inquiry across the curriculum in all grades and in all schools. Also, if you would like to review any of the modules, you can find them on Atlas by clicking on the References tab at the top of any page. As you can see in this screenshot, the modules are under the section titled Washington Township School Curriculum Documents. All six modules will be available here. I would like to encourage you to revisit the modules individually or with your team members. If you would now go to the Inquiry course and on the left side click on Quizzes. There is an evaluation for Module 6, and it also would like you to evaluate this entire course at this time. There is also a text box at the end of the quiz, so to speak, for you to add any additional feedback or questions. Thank you very much.